Hello everyone! Today, we will be tackling on a short story entitled The Bottle Imp. The Bottle Imp is an 1891 short story by a Scottish author, Robert Louis Stevenson. Usually found in the short story collection Island Nights Entertainments. It was first published in the New York Herald and Black and White London. Let us introduce to you Robert Louis Stevenson. Robert Louis Stevenson was born on November 13, 1850 and died on December 3, 1894. His mother was Margaret Isabella, who resided in Balfour. On the other hand, his father was Thomas Stevenson, a leading lighthouse engineer. Robert Stevenson was a Scottish novelist and a travel writer. Stevenson was born and educated in Edinburgh. At about age 18, he changed the spelling of his middle name, Lewis, to Lewis, and he dropped his mother's maiden surname, Balfour, in 1873. He was most noted for his works, Treasure Island, Kidnapped, Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, and A Child's Garden of Verses. Stevenson suffered from serious bronchial trouble for much of his life, but continued to write prolifically and travel widely in defiance of his poor health. Stevenson spent several years in search of a location suited to his health, before finally settling in Samoa where he died. A celebrity in his lifetime, Stevenson's critical reputation has fluctuated since his death, though today, his works are held in general acclaim. He is currently ranked as the 26th most translated author in the world. Let us give you a general summary of the short story. In it, the protagonist buys a bottle with an imp inside that grants wishes. However, the bottle is cursed. If the holder dies bearing it, his or her soul is forfeit to hell. The settings include San Francisco in 1890s. Located in Northern California, San Francisco is the cultural and commercial center for its fine natural harbor and its location near both ocean shipping lanes and interior river routes that stimulated much of the city's early economic growth. Another setting in which the story took place is Tahiti. Tahiti is the largest island of the Windward Group of the Society Islands in French Polynesia, located in the central part of the Pacific Ocean. Tahiti was originally settled by a Polynesians until its annexation by France in 1880, when it was proclaimed a colony of France and the inhabitants became French citizens. Introducing the characters. First off is Kyo. Kyo is the main character of this story. He is a native of Hawaii. He is an educated, intelligent, and God-fearing man. Stevenson describes him as poor, brave, and active. He comes into possession of a mysterious bottle containing an imp that grants wishes. Lopaka Lopaka is Q's friend, confidant, and traveling companion. Lopaka encourages Q to use his newfound treasure for material gain. And the last is Kokua. Kokua is a beautiful maiden that Q desires with all his heart and soul. She loves Q and desires nothing more than to be his wife and to love him. Now, on to the story. The story of the Bottle Imp follows the journey of Kyo, a poor native Hawaiian sailor. While walking around a rich neighborhood on a hill and admiring the houses around him, an elderly man comes out of a mansion to talk to him. He tells Kyo that he can wish the bottle anything his heart's desire if he buys it from him. This is the Bottle Imp and it is offered to Kyo for $50 as he had that only much cash on him at that time. The old man says that the bottle was made in the fires of hell and that an imp lives inside it. The imp is bound to the owner of the bottle to grant any wish. Q 
Hume cannot understand why this man would wish to rid himself of the imp when it can grant him anything that he earns. Then, the man tells him, Of course, there is a catch. The bottle must be sold for cash at a loss for less than its owner originally paid. It cannot be thrown or given away, or else it will magically return to him. All of these rules must be explained by each seller to each purchaser. If an owner of the bottle dies without having sold it in the prescribed manner, that person's soul will burn for eternity in hell. It sounds complicated, but the imp's rules become much more straightforward when reading the story. The bottle was said to have been brought to earth by the devil and first purchased by Prester John for millions. It was owned by Napoleon and Captain James Cook and accounted for their great successes. By the time of the story, the price has diminished to $50. Persuaded, Q buys the bottle and uses it to build a grand mansion for himself. But at the price of his beloved uncles and cousins' lives ending in a boating accident, leaving Q sole heir to his uncle's fortune. Once his mansion was built, he decides not to be greedy and sells the imp to his friend, Loaka, who in turn uses the power of the imp before selling it once more. Now free of the imp but living a life of luxury, Kill feels very fortunate. One day, he meets the beautiful Kokua. And after a shockingly short conversation on the beach, Q asks Kokua to marry him. Everything seems to have worked out perfectly for Q. However, Q's happiness is shattered on the night of his betrothal when he discovers that he has contracted the then incurable disease of leprosy. Now infected with the disease, Q realizes that he cannot marry Kokua. He must give up his house and wife and live in Kalopapa, a remote community for lepers, unless he can recover the bottle and use it to cure himself. He struggles with this realization for a while before he comes up with a solution. He needs to retrieve the bottle imp and wish away his illness. Q begins this quest by attempting to track down the friend to whom he sold the bottle. But the friend has become suddenly wealthy and left Hawaii. Q traces the path of the bottle through many buyers and eventually finds a haole of Britannia Street, Honolulu. The man of European ancestry has both good and bad news for Q. He owns the bottle and is very willing to sell, but he had only paid 2 cents for it. Therefore, if Q buys it, he will not be able to resell it. Q decides to buy the bottle anyway for the price of 1 cent and indeed cures himself. Now, however, he is understandably despondent. How can he possibly enjoy life knowing his doom? His wife mistakes his depression for regret at their marriage and asks for a divorce. Q confesses to her his secret. His wife suggests they sail with the bottle to Tahiti. On that archipelago, the colonists of French Polynesia used centimes, a coin worth one-fifth of an American cent. This offers a potential recourse for Q. When they arrive, however, the suspicious natives will not touch the cursed bot. Kokwa determines to make a supreme sacrifice to save her husband from his fate. Since, however, she knows he will never sell the bottle to her knowingly. Kokwa is forced to bribe an old sailor to buy the bottle for 4 centimes, with the understanding that she will secretly buy it back for 3. Now Q is happy, but she carries the curse. Q discovers what his wife has done and resolves to sacrifice himself for her in the same manner. He arranges for a British boatswain to buy the bottle for 2 centimes, promising he will buy it back for 1, thus sealing his doom. However, the drunken sailor refuses to part with it and is unafraid of the prospect of hell. I reckon I'm going anyway, he says. Q returns to Kokua and they move back to their home in Hawaii, where they live the rest of their days in peace and happiness. Next, we present our analysis. The story utilizes the clear contrast of good and evil, which is characteristic of a fairy story. 
The plot device used borrows the fairy tale tradition of a wish granter, but the wish granter itself is a sinister presence. One cannot judge Q, for whom ever owned the bottle imp, because they just want to have a life without thinking about how will they even eat tomorrow. They just wanted to have something that they think that they can't have without the bottle imp. We cannot also judge them by their choice to sell it to someone else because no one wants to spend an eternity to hell. But one wish should be enough to someone because being too greedy will not do them any good. Somehow, because he wants to live a longer life just to spend his life longer with Kokua, it brought chaos to their life. Everyone is meant to die in time, so if he just accepted it and spent his remaining days with Kokua, they wouldn't need to sacrifice. Ending this video, we state 5 moral lessons that we have taken from the short story, The Bottle M. First, always be good. What you do to others is what you get from them. Second, do not despair. All problems have their own solutions. Third, nothing is more essential than love. Fourth, no man is an island. Partners were made to live one's life as its fullest. And last but not the least, every morning you have two choices. Either continue to sleep with your dreams or wake up and chase those dreams. Thank you.